What's up, beauties? Welcome back, and cheers to the very first challenge of the Face Awards 2017, Royalty. Pick up that unicorn drink and get the sippin'. You know how we do, us unicorns in the castle. We drink glitter. And if my unicorn queen look won you over and impressed, be sure you click the voting link down below in the description box and cast your vote for me, Victoria Lynn Beauty, at facewards.com. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. I think it's time to begin this unicorn reign. So let's make some magic. So we gotta start this look out right with some Tatcha water cream. Tatcha is a sponsor of the NYX Face Awards 2017. And I am absolutely loving this cream. It's very hydrating. And we're gonna be putting on a lot of product today. So I want my skin to be very hydrated, very smooth and soft. And you know what? Might as well get down while we're putting it on because it's that good. So now we're gonna block out our brows because I'm going for a really different shape that is definitely not like my rounded type of arch brows. I'm going for a straight across brow. So we gotta block these babies out with a glue stick. And once they look like this, you're good to go. I'm gonna pick up my NYX SFX cream color in white. I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on top of the brows using a NYX flat foundation brush. I'm just pressing this in really, really good, making sure that none of the brow hairs are sticking out and everything is just really seamless. I'm also gonna pick up one of these sponges from NYX and I'm gonna blend the edges so we don't have anything too harsh going on. The skin prep doesn't stop here. I'm applying some primer. This is the Hydro Touch and I'm applying this all over my face, avoiding my brows. And now I'm gonna go in with the HD Studio Photogenic Foundation mixed with the white SFX cream color. And I'm gonna blend this all over my face for a really high coverage theatrical look, but nothing too clownish, just something really pale and very, very pretty. And I'm gonna use the Teardrop Blending Sponge by NYX to blend this all out for a really flawless, seamless porcelain complexion, really smooth. You wanna make sure you lock everything into place, so I'm using the HD Studio Photogenic Powder and I'm pressing this into my skin using the Teardrop Blender. This is gonna lock everything in and nothing's going anywhere. Moving on to those fierce brows, we're gonna grab the Vivid Brights Cream Color in Rebellious Rage, which is a purple, and I'm doing a straight across brow, really fierce, very kind of alien, futuristic looking, and I'm just winging this right out with the cream color. Very, very straight and somewhat thick, but mostly straight. <laughs> So now we're gonna jump into my favorite palette by NYX, the Ultimate Brights. I'm gonna grab the two purple shades, and I'm gonna blend this into the crease of my eye on the lid, and I'm gonna wing this right out into my hairline. I want something really fierce and really long like a mask. So going into the Beauty School Dropout palette, isn't this so pretty? I'm gonna pick up the pink color and I'm gonna go on the bridge of the nose and I'm gonna blend the two shadows in together to create a mask, and I'm just gonna wing that right out again. Going into my Avant Pop palette, I'm gonna grab this beautiful blue, kind of like an ocean blue, and I'm gonna blend this into the hairline and then bring it forward so it really deepens up that mask and gives us a really beautiful ombre fade. And then I'm gonna go over that with some powder to kind of soften it a little bit. So I was going for a really avant-garde field, so I'm gonna grab my Vivid Brights Cream Liner in Light Show, which is a really pretty yellow gold. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the tear ducts and also on the forehead and blend that up. To set everything, I'm gonna use hot yellow primal color and that's just gonna make everything last a little bit longer and show up super pigmented. Let's get in this contour. I'm gonna use blush to contour today. I'm using the shade Orange and Rose Petal Cream Blushes by NYX. I'm applying this to the forehead, the cheeks. I'm really just gonna drape this all around my face and I'm also gonna apply it under my eyes as well and blend that out really nicely. To set the cream blush, we're gonna go into this ombre blush in Heat Wave and I'm gonna pack that into the cheeks as well as the forehead to give it a little more pop of color and set it. I'm also gonna pick up my favorite ombre blush, which is Sweet Spring, it's a beautiful pink. And I'm gonna dust that right onto the cheeks and bring it forward for a really rosy, very flushed, pretty complexion. Very pink, very peachy, really pretty. If we're gonna be a unicorn queen, we gotta glow. So I'm picking up my Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and I'm gonna pick up the purple shade and pack this onto the cheekbones. This highlight is so angelic, it's so beautiful, and I love that it fades right into the blue really nicely so it gives a very beautiful, gradient, angelic highlight. We're gonna go ahead, pop some more orange under our eyes. I'm gonna pick up this orange shadow from the Avant Pop Palette and really pack that into the inner corner area connecting it to the yellow. I wanted really big eyes, so I'm using the Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Of course, you guys know the drill, and I'm going to apply this in the waterline really heavily so we get really big unicorn eyes. So I'm applying some mascara by NYX, the XXL, and then popping on some Wicked Lashes. I'm using the style on another level, and I placed some feathers on the outer corners of the lashes as well as the inner corners to make them really avant-garde, very artsy, very beautiful, and very, very long. So you can definitely customize these lashes any way you want. 
We're gonna draw on some lower lashes using the Vivid Brights and Vivid Violet. I'm just kind of winging these out, making them really spiky, and these are gonna make our eyes look really big, which is what we want. So grabbing the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, I'm gonna take the shade Amethyst and line my lips, make them look really full. I love a nice pouty lip, especially with a look like this. And I'm gonna pick up the Liquid Suede and run the world. Who run the world? Unicorns, yes. To top off the lips, we're gonna apply some glitter, of course, and this is the Face and Body Glitter in Violet. Gonna press this right into our lips for a really sparkly pout. Very unicornish, and we are on our way. So now I'm putting on my unicorn horn just to see where it sits on my head, and I did place it up pretty high because I wanted to add a lot of detail to my forehead. So I'm laying down some gold leaf first. I'm applying this in the outer corners of my forehead and kind of bringing it in very slightly. This likes to stick to your fingers, so just be really careful and make sure you're pressing down really good. I'm using the Face and Body Glitter in gold. I'm applying this to the inner corner of my eyes as well as over the gold leaf for a very glittery look. We are using a lot of glitter today, so get ready. Now I'm placing down some black rhinestones. I used a couple different sizes. I would say small, medium, and large, and I just kind of sporadically placed them around. Where I laid down a bigger one, I usually would put a smaller one pretty close by. Using the face and body glitter in crystal, I'm gonna do a glitter highlight, which screams unicorn. If this isn't unicorn, I don't know what is. So now I'm gonna lay down some flowers. I was going for a really beautiful kind of girly unicorn look, but still with a little bit of a dark twist. So I did layer a lot of flowers that trailed down from my face all the way to my neck and then onto my dress as well. So I'm using smaller ones on my face, layering gold leaf over those, and then I'm applying a bigger size to my neck later. I wanted to apply some more black rhinestones, so I popped two under my eyes for a really beautiful little dot there, and then I applied some purple ones as well. So picking up the NYX Pigment in Craze, which is a really beautiful burgundy, I'm gonna pack this underneath the brow very heavily for kind of like a drawn out, striking, very dramatic look. So really pack that in. Pop in those unicorn eyes. I was so in love. I love these lavender eyes. They complement the purple so well. Love it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my body paint. I'm applying the fuchsia cream color to my neck first, really bringing that down and packing it on really heavily. And I'm gonna go into purple and white cream color and mix those two together for this beautiful lavender. And I'm just placing this all over my chest for a really even application and then going right over that with the white SFX cream color. So shout out to Claire Sonic for being a sponsor of the NYX Face Awards 2017. I was gifted this beautiful Sonic foundation brush. You could use this to blend your foundation, your body paint. If you're a unicorn, you know the drill. And I love this so much. Thank you so much, Claire Sonic. To deepen up that chest and make everything stand out a little bit more, I'm gonna pick up the Prismatic Shadow in Doll Face and start applying this to my collarbones and kind of blend this down into the hollow areas. So we're about to do a full glitter neck and a glitter chest. I'm using the Face and Body Glitters in Silver and Violet and I'm packing these right into the cream colors, just using a tapping motion. And this sticks in really well, especially if you don't set the SFX cream color. So grabbing Violet, I'm gonna go ahead and do my glitter neck. I dip my brush right into this and I'm going in and I'm packing this on super heavily. Keep going with that glitter until your neck looks a lot like this. Now I'm gonna use the silver face and body glitter. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this on the chest area for a highlight. I mean, look at that shine. That is absolutely majestic, beautiful, so unicorn. Using some craft flowers, I trailed them from my face all the way down my neck to my chest and then onto my dress. So here I'm using pretty large ones and I'm kind of placing them sporadically around. They're so, so pretty and I just really wanted them to look like they were growing over me and kind of like onto me a little bit. And I also placed gold leaf in between the space of the flowers and then onto my collarbone for a really royal feel. So now we gotta get some big hair on. I just love this wig. I'm in love. I wish my hair was like this every day. It gives me like a really beautiful kind of like creepyish vibe but still really pretty in a way, if that makes sense. I just, I love these vibes. I was in love. I was feeling myself, I'm not gonna lie. So I love this hair, love it. And I'm just kind of spreading out the curls, making them really big. And now we're gonna do some glitter ears. I'm using the Cosmic Gel Liner in Infinite Star. I'm laying this down on my ear first. It's a really dark blue, and I'm gonna top this off with the NYX Face and Body Glitter in gold, pressing this right into my ear until my whole ear is covered in gold glitter. We're gonna pop in some blue hair extensions like it's second nature. I could do this with my eyes shut. I love, love extensions, I love wigs, I love everything hair. So I'm just popping that in. This gives me serious unicorn vibes, popped on my crown. And then I applied some ombre blush to my forehead in the shade Codebreaker because it was looking a little blank. And then some glitter on top of that. Did a little scrunching of the hair, made it really big. 
And guess what guys, we are complete. And now our unicorn look is complete. Can you believe a year ago I was running through the woods in a princess dress and now I'm sitting here on a throne as a unicorn queen, sipping on some gold unicorn drink with you fine people. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and be sure to cast your vote for me at facewords.com if my look impressed you and won you over, I'll have the voting link down below. And remember, if you would like to see me advance to the top 20, please be sure to vote. Thank you all so much for watching today. Until we meet again, my fellow royals, peace out.